Well, back in the older days, uh, emergency medicine was uh, not recognized as an own, its own specialty. It was a place where folks or doctors of any particular background could end up practicing, taking their turn uh, for an obligation that few desired and few probably enjoyed. Today, it is one of the most coveted specialties, one of the most popular specialties for uh, medical students to match into. It is one that draws some of the very best and brightest that medicine and medical schools have to offer. And today, I think that as I do health policy and as I do leadership activities around the country, I find emergency physicians present in great numbers, disproportionate numbers relative to our percent of the total physician population because our ability to troubleshoot, to innovate, uh, to make lemonade out of lemons is so consistently good and consistently reproducible that I think we're a coveted asset, not only in the hospitals where we work, but also in leadership and in public policy where our skill set just uniquely suits us uh, to finding solutions where others um, fail to find them. Well, without ASEP, there wouldn't be emergency medicine. So in 1968, a group of people in Michigan came together, recognized the need for a specialty that patients in their most critical moments of urgent and critical illness needed and deserved people who were specially trained for that purpose, uh, not the person who happened to draw the short straw that day and had to cover the emergency department. And they came together with a vision and they created a specialty. And so I think without ASEP, there would have not been emergency medicine. Certainly if ASAP hadn't come into being something much like it would have uh, been necessary to make emergency medicine possible. So I'm very grateful that I have the specialty I've loved and enjoyed uh, this much um, and ASAP to thank for helping make it a possibility.